All right, hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, pretty poopy around here, honestly. It snowed, and it is very cold. But other than that, aside from being kind of tired, I'm fine. But uh, anyway, more to the point, today we are going to build a street sweeper, which you can kind of see over there, but that one isn't really complete. Or at least uh, not complete to the extent we're going to build this one. So what we're going to do to start is place uh, two coal blocks, or not coal blocks, but uh, black stained clay. We're going to place them one block apart, and then we're going to place these stone slabs here, and post, er, post, <laughs> place more stone slabs on top of those, and then from there we're going to build three back, or, well three blocks, one block back but three blocks wide, how about that? that makes any sense. And then we're going to fill that in with stone slabs underneath it. Now we're going to put one in the center, and as you can see over there, we're going to put one bale of hay here and another here. And I'm using hay bales just because I think they're the closest thing in the game to the uh, texture and general look of the brushes that you usually see on street sweepers. I mean, I think they're pretty close, personally. I don't know. I mean, there might be a better material, but off the top of my head, that was the best I could come up with. So now we're going to cover those, as you can see, and then we're going to go out again. And under here, we're going to put the back wheel. And let's see here. Where are we going with this? Now, we're going to go ahead and put in these three glass blocks. And that's kind of going to be the, uh, the driver's compartment. Then we're going to put in another clay block here. Cover that, and then cover these two blocks like so. Now, from there, we are going to go two blocks back, and cover this one, and we're going to fill that in underneath that one. And jump up here, there we go. Then we're going to cover this, and as you can see, it's taking shape pretty well so far. And now on this back uh, fender here, we're going to go ahead and put in three blocks of cobble fence to kind of look like the uh, exhaust pipe. So, one, two, three. Now, since we have the general shape of it down, we're going to go ahead and add in some stuff for detail work. Add in a uh, tripwire hook, and a lever, and another tripwire hook. And these are just going to be kind of like uh, the hooks for equipment, you know, that you usually see on sanitation vehicles. Often they'll have like a shovel or a broom or stuff like that. And that's just where that sort of stuff would go, if uh, you could do that in Minecraft. I mean, you kind of can with the item frames, but that's just not really the same look. So anyway, now we're going to go ahead and put these buttons on for the uh, sort of hubcaps. And since this is uh, an industrial vehicle, you don't really need to be fancy. Put these ladders on just for looks. We're gonna do that on either side. And now we're gonna item frame things up. We're gonna grab a block of redstone from the back. And we'll throw that on. That's kind of like the warning light or that uh, sort of triangle symbol, you know, for a slow movement. Now we're gonna put these buttons on the doors, just as kind of like the uh, door handles, I guess, for lack of a better uh, description term. And then we're going to throw on some headlights, which I'm going to use low stone for. Let me go ahead and turn down the music real quick. I'm going to turn that down to like 40 or so. So there's that. Now for this, let's see if I can stick this up. Sometimes you can get those before they fall off, but uh, as you can see, I did not. So now we're going to go ahead and put in a stove here, and then put a ladder on the front of it, because I think that just looks better as an engine, as works with what we have on the other one. So, basically the general gist of it. I guess we can go ahead and put on signs on the... Uh, brushes here. They kind of look like guards or deflectors or something like that. Yeah, I guess we can stick with that, right? And then we'll do that, as we have 
done. Looking pretty neat so far, I'd say. So now, let's go ahead and grab some nether fence and a torch, and we're just going to put up like a warning light type thing. Actually, we can do that. Let's see, can I place this without the frame getting messed up? Let me just wait and see. Mm, it looks like it's okay. I swear if that frame pops off like right now, I'm going to be slightly upset. I don't know. Do I light that up there? Mm, I don't think so. Just to note, that uh, I'm you know, mostly just you know, screwing around here, but this isn't really supposed to be you know, a step-by-step -step tutorial as it is just kind of a, a flow of thought that's built, basically. So we've got that light on there. I think that looks better. And at this point, our sweeper is basically complete for all intents and purposes. We could try putting a frame on it. Not a frame, but that thing on top of there. I don't know if I like that. I don't really think I do, frankly. Let's get rid of that. Does that look any good? Not really. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I mean, this is kind of an awkward ending, honestly, but uh, for all intents and purposes, this is complete. This is basically just a little street sweeper, like you'd see in pretty much any town or city in America, or really the world as whole. Well. And, uh, yeah, it's... what did this take, like, ten minutes or so? Pretty, uh, quick, simplistic thing. But, uh, at the same time, quick, simplistic things like these do add quite a lot of uh, visual interest to your cities and towns, and they do kind of give, I guess, a lived-in look, you could say. And, uh, you know, if you're going for realism and interest, that's very important. So never forget these things. Never forget these things. Next time, well, I don't know if it will be next next time, but uh, soon we'll be looking at some tractor trailers, some camper vans, some other fun stuff. We're going to be doing a lot of trucks and cool stuff like that. So be sure to stay tuned. I don't know when exactly those episodes will be up. I still have like three episodes of the pool let's build to upload and uh, render this out and put that up. So again, I don't know when uh, when exactly those will be up, but hopefully sometime in the near future and uh, I'll probably have more house walkings to do. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all. So that's uh, <laughs> kind of a two for here. You get a let's build and an update video. How, uh, how amazing. But, uh, anyway. That's enough of me rambling. I, you know, I guess if I have anything more to say, I should probably do a full-fledged update video. But uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, it was actually kind of fun to do this. I just felt like I should record for some reason, and uh, decided to do this. So anyway, yeah. Again, thanks for watching, and uh, you know, if you enjoyed, be you, well, please feel free to leave a like or a comment or subscribe or whatnot. Uh, if not, then please leave some constructive criticism before you go. Uh, I always appreciate the feedback, you know, either way. Makes me happy, motivates me and such. So anyway, anyway, thanks again, again, for uh, watching, and hopefully I will see you next time.